let me show you how to create a dancing skeleton in Lens Studio. There's a lot of tutorials of, of how to rig an object, a 3D object with Nixamo. So I will assume that you already have that. And I will go ahead and create a project here. And what I want to do is I want to import that object that it happens to be a skeleton and then in order to display it we will need to map it to a object tracking 3D full body tracking we will have to map all these bones but before doing that we will drag and drop this object here inside this and there you can see all the bones that I just mentioned but before mapping them let me show you that this skeleton is huge and we have to map it to this little one so I will start by uh, shrink it and it happens that I'm, I know how what number will work for this but each particular model could vary and let's hmm, let's use movement with full body and there you can see that it's really detached so let's click here and start dragging and dropping these bones in order luckily they are ordered so it's a pity that this can't be automated as far as I know but bear with me or just go ahead and skip these few seconds it should take more than one minute uh, the hands, we will skip that and go with the right arm. And you can see in the image that the bones are already being mapped and they are following the movements. Actually, let's try the dance. Uh, we're missing the legs and there they are. Four bones each. Yeah, this one and the right leg there we go almost there done now we want to get rid of the user of the person here so what I'm gonna do I will create another camera and I will add an eraser. You can get an eraser from the library here. Uh, let's see. Well, I already have this one installed, ML Eraser, so I will go ahead and use it. ML, there it is. And I will drop it inside the camera and let me see well it's overlapping the skeleton so a few things we can try it first we can move this camera on top of the other one sorry move it there and I will go ahead and put a more meaningful name for it that's not enough so we can try using different layers i will say that this camera will point to layer one only only will we will only render layer one that's what we are saying here now this is an object should exist in that layer and if that's not enough 
one more thing we can do we this order is not guaranteed to be the correct order for cameras it may guarantee other objects hierarchy but for cameras go to scene config and there you can see that this camera renders first and then this one so I will change that and there we are we have the dancing skeleton so have fun and thanks for watching